Hey guys, I'm going live. I'm going to wait a minute or so and see if anybody hops on. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tabby. Just got back from the grocery store and I thought, well, I'm gonna hop online real quick. I wanted to go live with you for just a minute. Not everything that happens in the kitchen with Tabby has to do with cooking. So I thought, hey, why not? I'll hop on real quick. Let's see if I get anybody to hop on. I didn't announce that I was doing it or anything. Maybe I should, I don't know. Maybe I should let people know, but this is kind of spontaneous. So just wanted to hop on for a minute. Hey, I've got somebody on. When you hop on, let me know who you are, where you're from. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. It's my first live. I can't tell who's on. It just tells me that one person is watching. So, I've got one person watching. It's been a busy day here. Really pretty weather. Really pretty weather. But, um, been really busy. Hello, Maria. Hello. Haven't seen you in a long time. Thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes. It's good to see your smiling face. I just got back from Walmart, so I, um, yeah, it might just be me, you, me and you, Maria. I don't know. It might just be the two of us, but... I just got back, hello. Oh, from South Carolina, is that where you're at now? Okay. So, um, let's see. Oh, thank you for those hearts. Um, so yeah, so I just got back from Walmart. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what I'm doing, Maria. It's just me and you. But um, I just got back from Walmart. When I left to go pick up my order, I actually had to run in and grab a few things. And when I left, we were we were at about 280 followers or something like that. And which I was super excited about. We kind of blew past the 200 yesterday. I just couldn't even hardly believe that. But um, when I got home just now, I just got home and we are over 300 followers now. So, oh, wow, I've got four people, four people watching now. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my first live. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, five people, let me know when you hop on where you're, where you're from. Um, so I can see, I can see that there are five people watching, but I don't know who all is on here. So anyway, so yeah, so I just wanted to hop on really quick. Not everything that happens in my kitchen has to do with cooking. Sometimes you got to go to the store, right? So, um, I was going to just show you a little bit of what I got and, um, what I'm, what I'm thinking and planning maybe for the next few, uh, videos, but, um, but, but, uh, my main reason for hopping on was because I wanted to thank you guys for the 300 followers. Hey, Miss Brenda. I love you, Carol. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to hop on because I, guys, I never in my wildest dreams thought two weeks ago when I sent out a little message that said, hey, I'm gonna start this page. Um, I never in my wildest dreams thought that two weeks later I'd have 300 people, over 300 people following me. I just can't even hardly believe it. Um, and it's all for his glory. I just want you to know. I just, I just wanna bring joy. Um, you know, this world is full of so much junk and negativity and I get emotional. Um, but anyway, it's full of so much junk and negativity. I just wanted, wanted to have some happiness, you know? So, um, but anyway, so yeah, so I just got back from Walmart. I'm super excited about the 300 followers and I was just going to show you a little bit, um, show you a little bit about what I got today. So I got some black beans. I am going to be making, I love bushes, by the way. That's hashtag not sponsored, but I love bushes, bake, or bushes beans. Hello, Miss Lori. It's good to see you. Um, but anyway, so I've got these black beans. I am going to make that salad that I told you that I had at first watch last Sunday. Um, I'm going to make a version, my version. I'm going to make Tabby's version because I don't have their exact recipe. But I have an idea about a little recipe I'm going to throw together for the dressing. The dressing they use is a chipotle dressing. Um, and I obviously am not sure how they make it, but I have an idea to make one that I think is going to be really good. So we're going to, we're going to see. So anyway, so I got some arugula so I can do that. I also got some great Northern beans, got some great Northern beans because you can't ever have enough of those. They're so good for you. And they're really good in white chicken chili, which on the other menu is the white chicken chili. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, I have an allergy called alpha gal. And so I cannot eat beef and pork. I can only have chicken or fish. 
Um, if it swims or flies, I can eat it. But if, if it walks on four legs and is a mammal, I cannot eat that meat. Now, thankfully, I can eat uh, milk and butter and cheese and things like that don't bother me, but the meat I cannot. So you're gonna see me when I do my cooking, it's gonna be a lot of fish and chicken because that's all I can eat. Poor Dale, if he wants a steak or hamburger, he's gotta go to Longhorn or someplace like that to get to get something. Um, oh, thank you, Lori. I love seeing you too. Um, okay, so anyway, so got some more avocado oil and I got some minced garlic. Now, my minced garlic, I always get the one that is in the oil. I don't like the one that's in the water. I just think it's not got as, enough flavor or as much flavor. So I like to get the one that's in the extra virgin olive oil. And then I also got some pinto beans, again. Bushes, I think, guys, like again, hashtag not sponsored, but Bushes beans, I think, are the absolute best. So that's, I, I always get Bushes beans in, in all of my different varieties. So Bushes beans, and then I got some strawberries. So I have a recipe that I'm going to make. These I'm actually going to use to make a fruit salad with. Um, but, and I already put, I got some frozen strawberries. I already put those in the freezer, but I'm going to use those frozen strawberries to make a really cool, um, like a strawberry cream mousse, uh, next week for Valentine's day. So it doesn't have much sugar in it. And I'm super excited about that. So anyway, so got the strawberries. I also got some chicken. Told you I was a thigh girl. Got some chicken thighs and let's see, I probably should have taken all this out of the bag before I came live. Um, got some more feta cheese. Love my feta cheese crumbles. I need that for the salad I'm going to make. And um, those are really good on any kind of salad, too. I love feta cheese crumbles. And let's see. I got some tortilla. Tortillas. Got myself some orange juice. Simply orange. No pulp. I don't like the pulp. And then, let's see. Uh, some half and half. Or, I'm sorry, not half and half. I got some whipping cream for the dessert that I'm going to make with the strawberries. And I also got this chicken. So I think I'm going to try it. I was going to try to make my own chicken or use the rotisserie chicken, but I'm going to try this one. It's actually rotisserie, but it's fajita seasoned already. And I want that seasoning on there for the salad that we're going to make. So I got that. And then I think, oh, and I got some mangoes. I got some mangoes. Um, I love mangoes. I don't know if you guys like mangoes or not. Let me know if you like mangoes. But I thought when I make my fruit salad this time, I'm going to put some mango in it. Mango, strawberry, blueberry, Mandarin oranges and uh, bananas. That's gonna be, so if you wanna make it with me, strawberries, blueberries, mango, mandarin oranges, banana. That's what you gotta get. Um, and then some coconut and some nuts. Those are the ingredients for the, for the fruit salad and it's always a hit. Every time I make it, it's really good. Um, so anyway, yeah, all right. So I'm gonna hop off, but again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for following me, for supporting me on this little journey that I'm on, this thing that I've decided to do, this kind of a, a dream that I've had for a while and I just decided to just jump in and do it. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I'm excited that you guys are on this journey with me. I love you all. I appreciate you so much. Um, and oh, I want to show you too. I got some flowers. Aren't those beautiful? I got some roses. They smell so good. They smell so good. I'll tell you a little story about my flowers. So when I first got married, Dale and I have been married over 33 years. And I love flowers, obviously. I love to give flowers, I love to get flowers. And it used to frustrate me to no end that he didn't know that and wouldn't get me flowers. Um, he just didn't think about it. But I have come to learn now, that's just not his love language, that's my love language. So now, I buy my own flowers. I get exactly what I want, the color, the style, the, the uh, you know, type of flower that I want. And then I bring them home and I take them to him and I thank him for my flowers because if he didn't work so hard, I wouldn't have the money to buy the flowers. So I appreciate him for that. So anyway, so I got myself some flowers, a little Miley Cyrus song there, right? Somebody should write a song about that. But anyway, um, okay, so that's it. So thank you. Remember, Christ is always the unseen guest at every dinner table and he is the silent listener at every meal. I mean, at, <laughs> at every conversation, at every conversation. And um, yeah, just go out there and be joy, be light and love on people and have a great evening. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.